Good. The big day's arrived and you're going to make a big speech at this new venue. How are you feeling? Well, I can guarantee that you're feeling slightly nervous. I think the nervousness aspect is a good thing. If you see footballers before they go out for a big game of football, gosh, you bet they're nervous because they've been spending all their lives preparing for these moments. If they don't care about the outcome, they're probably in the wrong job. If they don't feel nervous about the result, I'm concerned for them. And certainly in contact sports, if you're not up for it, you're likely to get injured. So nervousness is okay. Trust yourself. Nervousness to me equals adrenaline equals performance. What you don't want to do, of course, is allow the adrenaline to swamp you or to drown you, as it were, as it did to me many, many years ago. All of that sweating, it was hideous, it was horrendous, and that was just a complete adrenaline overload. So what we can, can we do to mitigate the risk of appearing nervous? Well, the first thing that we should do, of course, is breathe. Get that oxygen in. You know that 20% of the air is oxygen. Our body survives and thrives on oxygen. So take a deep breath in and hold it for four or five seconds, and then Exhale and just repeat that for 30 seconds or so. Get that oxygen into your body. The oxygen will get into your lungs and then be distributed around your body via the bloodstream. This is really good. That will make you feel more relaxed. But very importantly, all of that oxygenated blood gets to your brain. As I mentioned, your brain survives and thrives on oxygen. So deep breathing is a very good strategy. It will make you feel calm, it will make you feel confident, it will make you feel in control. So try it out. If you've not tried it before, I wish you every speaking success.